Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel, it's Sasha Lorena and today I'm coming at you with an unboxing um, for a book box and a try chapter. So guys, uh, my friend uh, very kindly sent me um, this book box, a tea time bookshop book box um, as a, a birthday gift. Um, it's a real life friend, not a booktube friend, um, but thank you so much G, appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to unbox this with you guys and see what um, books are in here and also I'm going to do a little bit of a chart, try a chapter um, to see which one that I think I'm going to pick up first. So yeah, now I'm trying, I'll try, I've already like opened around here so I'm going to spin it around, I'm trying to get my address like hidden and that's really fun, look, books, tea, happy and I hope that's what I'll end up being like. So let's go for it. Okay, so um, small acts change the world. Planet First, with your support, we contribute towards planting more trees in the UK and abroad. It's all about the trees. Saving books, every year 77 million books go to landfill. With every book box, you rescue a lonely book. Eco packaging, all our packaging is made from recycled materials. Recycle your box to return me into something new. Oh, so it is. Okay, that sounds really, really good. So it's, they're very like kind of, I suppose, like eco-friendly, it appears. Everything is recyclable. I'm saving, books are being saved and I suppose it's kind of like a box of stories as well. They're saving books as well as part of their mission. So it seems like they're doing the same here. And yeah, they're planting trees, which is really, really good. So let's open up here. So yeah, recyclable packaging. And look, this is what we have here, guys. I'm gonna pop it down so I can actually lift everything out. So we have this cute little bookmark, which I like and yeah, it is recyclable, but I'm gonna be using it anyway. I do like a good bookmark. Mines are quite thick, um, so this might be good for one that I don't want to like misshape in the book, so that's good. And then there is a little postcard. So let's see. Ah, tea time bookshop bingo. Okay, never have a now have a never ending TBR tick. Obviously got that. Um, gifted a, a box to family and friends. Not done that. Um, loved a book. Didn't. Okay, so it's a little um tea time bookshop bingo, which I think is a really cute. So I can like tick things off as I go along. Um, and okay, so the tea since it is the tea time book box. Um, we have tea pigs, which I've been wanting to try tea pigs for a while, so it's quite good that I've got two flavours to try here. So we have fruit and spice, um, apple and cinnamon. So the it's biodegradable and this is like paper, so it seems that the packaging, from what I can see, is recyclable, which makes sense. And another one is chai tea. So yeah, that would be really nice. I can't wait to try try these. Um, and yeah, like I said, I've been wanting to try tea pigs, so that is really, really good. There is then some chocolate chip cookies, which look really, really nice. And then we have two books, guys. We have two books. So we have uh, This Beautiful Life um, by Katie Marsh, and we have Broken Cups by uh, Heather McQuarrie. Um, yeah, so I am, it's two paperbacks, I have not heard of these ones, and um, which I feel like with these book boxes, like box of stories, etc. as well, you always get books that people aren't well known, and that's how you're saving them, otherwise they end up getting pulped, so that's really good. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start with This Beautiful Life, I'm going to read the synopsis, I'm going to do a little bit of a try a chapter with you guys, and let you know my initial thoughts and feelings on that chapter, and then I'll do it the same for Broken Cups, and yeah, I'll let you know which one I'll pick up first. So this one, um, Abby Cooper is living her happy ending. She's in remission and is ready to make the most of her second chance. But during Abby's illness, her family has fallen apart. Her husband John has made decisions that are about to come back to haunt him while her teenage son Seb is battling with a secret of his own. Set to the songs on Abby's survival playlist, This Beautiful Life is a moving and uplifting story of what happens when Abby tries to put her family back together and of why life and love are worth living for. That sounds really, really intriguing. So let's just uh, go in and read what is, read that first chapter. So let me just see how many we have. Okay, five pages I think is decent and it looks like um, a letter actually. So let's just go for it. I 
also read like one additional page it was just like a oh sorry cameras will point that way and um, i just read one additional page as well which is this one here um, and then it goes on to like abby having like a chapter and um, so the that first section was abby the mother and she was writing um she wrote a letter to her two sons and um, explaining everything and telling them how much she loved them etc so which i thought was really nice um so i think that's a really nice start and it's obviously her like kind of starting to look at her life you know after she's been diagnosed with cancer so she doesn't know exactly if she's going to survive or anything but you know she's starting to kind of prepare i suppose and she's written this lovely little letter to her son so yeah it sounds it's so far i i, I like that first section I could see that there's going to be some uplifting moments, there'll be sad moments. Um, I think there's going to be a, like a lot about the relationship between her and her family. Um, so yeah, it sounds really, really good. So the next one is Broken Cups. So in this one, Imogen Tomlinson has always been proud of her stable upbringing and longs for a family of her own. But just as she finds herself falling in love and begins to reveal, revel in the happiness she has craved for so long, hopes are shattered by something she reads in a diary written by her mother, Joanna, over 20 years ago, something that shocks her to the core. Gillian Taylor Scott has been Imogen's best friend since school. Now sharing a flat, they both forged new relationships whilst remaining close to each other and to their prospective families. But what is it that Imogen's hiding from Gillian? Why do the two families appear to shun each other? Some secrets are just too awful to reveal, even to a best friend. Maggie Ryapath has never known family harmony. The product of a failed marriage, she is afraid to commit to her own boyfriend, worried the history might repeat itself. When she and Gillian meet through a work project, they become good friends, unaware at first of a tenuous link to Imogen's past love life. Gertrude Cartwright is the colourful mainstay of her family, grandmother to Grant, Rebecca, Robin and Alistair, as well as a surrogate grandmother to Bradley Harrington. She has kept everyone happy through thick and thin. She welcomes both Jillian and Imogen with open arms, but what will happen when Joanna's secret finally is revealed? So again, it looks like it's going to involve quite a few different relationships. Um, so I am going to go in. So we have a, a very short prologue and then one chapter, which is six pages, and I read about nine in the other. So I may read chapter two as well, depending what I get from the first one, just to make kind of even pages. But let's let's see, let's just get in there and see what this one is about and thoughts. Okay, so I just read up until the end of chapter when I didn't bother going to chapter two and um, I think I felt like I did get um, a lot out of that first little section so that one page of prologue definitely left a little bit of a question mark but the cliffhanger at the end it's intrigued me and um, also um, one of our characters she's a book blogger which I I love I love that it's involving a book blogger um, and her friend who also is a reader um, but it's only only one of them is a book blogger but I just I kind of I'm really intrigued by that just like having like a book blogger character Um, I think they're two very different books and themes of what that's going to be coming through Um, I think mm, I think I'd pick up Broken Cups first of all and like I said that prologue left a question mark a bit of intrigue I also um, I also liked that we met two characters already Imogen and Gillian you know we got to know that Imogen is a book blogger whereas this it was just Abby writing to her son so you don't really get to meet the other characters I mean I'm sure you will throughout the book but at the moment we just saw from Abby's perspective whereas this we've met a couple of characters I feel like it's been set up straight away kind of yep yeah, okay they're looking for the house that you know etc um so yeah I think I'd go with Broken Cups um and yeah I yeah like I said intrigued by it and um, it's quite big writing and it's only 285 pages so I think yeah it's one that I'll get through quite quickly so this is one I'm going to be picking up and then then this one afterwards I do think they're both going to be good books um and this was a great little box um so I is and yeah this is a great little box so I uh, thank you so much G I really appreciate it and I'm hopefully going to really enjoy these books as well um, and I just love the fact that it's like you know recyclable packaging and like you know 
all of that stuff so that's really really good so yeah let me know do you um subscribe to any book boxes which ones have you had do you have any recommendations um and yeah and if you've heard of these read any of these or what you thought about those of novices so yeah comment like subscribe and i'll hope you see you next one bye Ah. So I'm shocked that I'm